Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Odyssey 3 with me, Voltage Big Gamer. Today we're going to try and wipe out the FOEs on the second floor, or at least kill one of them. There are a lot of FOEs on the second floor because they go in little lines, following each other around. I miss speaking. It's the second floor of the second stratum. So in fact, the tenth floor. Weird that that's not how that works in the other Eternal Odyssey games because this one only decided to put four floors for stratum. Oh, it's the 6th floor. No, I'm really bad. That would be, The 10th floor would be the 2nd floor of the 3rd stratum. Wow, I'm full of misinformation today. Anyway, look at these guys. I want to fight the last one in the line. Hmm. The way my turns are currently ordered, that might not be possible. Yeah, I need to get into a fight, and then I need to rearrange the uh, way that my steps are working. Yeah, I need to go through one turn of combat. I don't know if I can kill all these in one turn of combat. I need to save my resources for other things. Uh, Jay took a nasty hit. Everybody else is fine, though. Let's just get out. Top up Jade was there. Okay, by doing one turn of combat, they have stepped. And as a result, now I can step. And now I can hopefully fight just the last one. Let's see. Sea Wanderer has appeared. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Let's provoke it. Nobody needs healing yet. That's fine. I'm in the front, so I can use my front mortars, but we're not buffed by charge check to get. Let's delay. Uh, let's make a double. Actually, if I'm making the double, then I need Zara to do a line heal on the back row. That's how it's going to work. And let's start blasting it with fire. Oh! That's sleep! Oh, that's no fun. That's no fun at all. Oh, Zara's awake now! So this guy likes to put the entire party to sleep and then wake them up by smacking them in the face, get, taking advantage of coup de gras damage. Great! That's exactly what we hate to see. Uh, maybe I should start unloading the front mortars now. I can wait to use the hawk strikes until after I get buffed. If I get buffed. I don't need to be doing line heal. I'm keeping... Okay, the map is in the bottom right there. The other FOEs are still coming around. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to beat this thing in time because I'm spending too much time and Jade's down. I'm spending way too much time asleep. I'm being way too conservative with my TP as well. Yeah, I'm absolutely not going to beat this person in time. Not doing nearly enough damage. Maybe I need to charge up my special before I go in. Or there's another way I could prep for it too. Yeah, missing with front mortar hurts real bad. And if I get into combat with the other one, I'm going to get in combat with the other one right after. And if I can handle one of these, then how am I going to handle all of them? Yeah, how far did I even get? Like, barely half. Yeah, I need more damage. I was able to run away with my life. So now Zara can resurrect. And do a party heal. Alright, that feels bad. That feels real bad. I barely got anything going into the labyrinth doing this. So I'm inclined to go over here and return to the title screen. With this, I can load the game up. Okay, so what can I do to prepare for that? Let's go to the store. Look at the accessories. Sleep guards! I'll take more damage from the attacks if I equip these because I won't be using an armor slot. However, this will keep me awake. 8, 16, 24, 32. Okay, I can barely equip three people with this. So I want to get this on Zare. If I do that, maybe Zare will be able to, like, not fall asleep. 
Another person I don't want to have fall asleep is Jade. This will drop her defense down even more. I really hate doing that. And finally, if I put the sleep guard on Fungible, he'll be able to use items very reliably, especially if he clones. I'm being very stingy with my items, and that's what's going on. There's also a little bit of an element of RNG to the fight, because, uh... Like, even with Provoke Op, they were going over and attacking the sleeping enemies. Maybe they're specifically coded to prioritize sleeping enemies. It also seemed like sometimes I was getting hit by status, sometimes I wasn't getting hit by status. So... I definitely learned. I definitely learned. I remembered that these things were bad, but I don't remember why they were bad. And now I know why they were bad. I could take up turns to charge up my limit skills. That might help me too. Limit skills would absolutely help me do enough damage, so maybe I should uh, prep by doing that. And if I'm doing that, then... I also don't think guard tactic is the way to go about it. Let's put Jade in the back. Just so I can do some random battles while I prep up for this. And let's get the limit skill... It seemed like it was weak to fire. I don't need guard tactic. I need more damage. So doing that seems like it'll be beneficial to me. So let's just wiggle right here and handle what we can handle. Conserve TP as much as possible, but Magic Face has plenty. I do have some Emeritas in my bag. Just not a lot. Is Ice the one thing they're... Okay, it's Lightning. I need to zap these with Lightning. My bad. Another random battle should charge up the limit. It'll be a far sight better than it was previously, anyway. Save TP on everybody who isn't faster than there. Instant death worked. Like to see that. Uh, can top us up with a line heal. Slightly less efficient than just casting heal twice. Oh, now my random battles desynced me in terms of turns. It'll be fine. I don't think this will fix it. Maybe if I run away from a battle, that'll fix it. Oh, it was perfect right there. Okay. I'm gonna make a quick save here. That'll save me some work. Preemptive attack! Oh, that's much better! Okay. With this, we can really pour on the damage. Charge tactic is ready. I forgot to bring Jade to the front. That's okay. I'll just use heavy barrages instead of front mortars. Or maybe I can have the double bring her back. Uh, it's weak to fire. I'm pretty sure I determined. Okay. Just keep hitting it hard. It's going to try and put us to sleep. You switch with Jade. If that's the case, okay, hold on. Let's line heal the back. You switch with Jade. You just do Hawk Strikes. You blast it with fire. Let's use Hellfire. Actually, uh, does it do more damage if Magic Face does it because he's a caster? Oh, but it's not charged for him. That's fine. And this should work. Okay. So Jade changed. Okay. Okay. That kind of worked the way I wanted it to. Alright, that absolutely is working the way that I wanted it to. Okay. It's probably going to go for voltage, because Fungible's in the back. This will be fine. Alright, other Fungible didn't wake up. That's okay. We just need to do more damage. We need to, we need to keep on blasting. Come 
Hmm. Okay, what's your limit skill? Second wind? Uh, yeah, you can self-heal. But we need to do a party heal anyway. We need more damage. We need more damage. We're, it looks like we're getting it, though. Like, having people not fall asleep, absolutely the way to go. The, pre pre the preemptive attack also really helped tremendously. Uh, that miss didn't help. But we're getting it. The others are right around the bend right now. I could use Refresh to try and get Facet up. No, Facet's up now. Uh, it's gonna do some more damage. Out of TP. It's fine, it's almost down. Oh no, Terror! Okay, Jade didn't kill herself. Okay, we got a depth scale. It worked. Okay. We're actually in the best position that we're going to be to be able to take these out, because now we have more turns to be able to do the other things. So, if I use an Amrita on Jade, that gives her back in front mortar position. Uh, fungible done damage, but he didn't do as much as the others. He'll probably make a clone, but then use items or just normal attacks. The Hawk Strikes don't do as much. I'll buy myself an extra turn. It'll be fine. Uh, Zer looks okay on TP. I can have Fungible use a turn. I have more turns. I can do this. We'll use a normal Medica to top up Voltage. Alright, I would like to get more Depth Scales. This is the best it's going to be. He wonder has appeared. I didn't get the preemptive attack. That's okay. We'll attack. We'll attack. And we'll keep on attacking. The charge shot isn't back up yet, so I don't want to do that. I am going to make a clone. Do a line heal on the back. Not the mirage. The double. Okay. And now I can actually look at it. It's weak to all elements. Good. So it didn't matter that I was using fire. It just mattered that I did stop to it. Oh, that's bad. Do I have anything like cure status? Emery does TP. Uh, allies binds. Ailments. I really need Zara to not die. I got a fungible do that. So, a Theracia B on Zara. Okay, it went right straight for the face. That's okay. Face does a lot of damage. Should be waking up any second now. Okay, it's gonna go for fungible. That's okay. That was a bad start. The other one's going right around the bend. Uh, which one is it? Charge tactic. Okay, that might be time. Okay. Okay, front mortars. Front mortars. Uh, okay, nobody else is hurt. I'll use second wind. Uh, what do you got? More Hellfire? Good, we need that, we need that. Blast it with fire. That Hellfire is doing great work for this. Just keep hitting it. The other one's coming around the bend, but it'll be okay. Jade's asleep, that's not good. Uh, Zara really needs a heal. You gotta get on it. Up, oh, Jade's down. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Fungible revives really quickly. That limit is another charge tactic. I can do that. We'll toss a Nectar on Jade. Keep blasting it with fire. We got it. That's a second death scale. Uh, I'm gonna have to... All right, now I can come back later, and I can uh, come and try and get this one if I really want to. Ah, okay. All right, much better. All right, changing up and using the, the anti-sleep guard thing, that was absolutely what I needed to do. Didn't pay for all the money that we put in, but that's okay. How much is this new knife? Way too much money. Way too much money. How much of a damage increase is that for you, though? So, 82? Up to 125. That's a lot of damage! That might make Fungible start, like, looking good. I might need him to have that in order to be able to tackle bosses and do more damage to these FOEs. 
The Nintendo Dagger is great for random battles, but... Ah... That's a lot of damage. We need money. Okay. And you know what that means. Let's call out the farmers. Make sure that I have enough room in my inventory. That's sure our leaf sandals, okay. Oh wait, no, I probably needed those because I need to take the sleep guards off. That was silly of me. I'll keep the barbie. I'll keep the barbie. Okay. We need to make money. I went there to see how much inventory space I had. Eh, 30 spots. And I definitely need more green algae. Yeah, let's go to that mine spot. I walked right past it. Six, seven, eight, nine, that's enough of that, ten. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, safe stroll. I forgot to use it. It does nothing if you don't use the skill. Actually, did they level up? Yes, they leveled up from the experience that the other party got. Beautiful. Now that's ma uh, not quite max safe stroll. That's fine. More safe stroll. More keen nose. More keen nose. And more double crop. The farmers are really coming to their own. There's still a lot of duplicate skills between them because, like... There's only so much you need. Up, oh, safe stroll, war. Oh, no. Run! Okay, that's not good. Uh, I only have one nectar. I'm going to use it on Fawns, because Fawn has to market. I don't want to go to market yet, but I can use safe stroll with Fawns. Sorry, Bean. The dangers of gathering in the labyrinth are severe. But we need the money. Here we go. Green algae! Now remember that trader needed one, so I need to make sure I don't sell one green algae. Just gather until I can't anymore. No. Uh, green algae is more valuable than that Narcissus. Not only for monetary value, but just being able to buy more Amritas. How's my inventory looking? I have nine spots left. Double crop is used. I recover two uses now. Hey, two green algae. That's perfect. Now we could go get on to the next floor and get whatever the other one is. Skill isn't active. Okay, I can't use safe stroll again, because if I do, then I won't have enough to use two market. Now, I'm not sure if I bought a new thread. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Or pith? Come on, money. Is that the full inventory? That's a full inventory. Okay. That's fine. Go back to the inn. Treat Bean. Bean's well treated. Make sure I do not sell one algae. Not that one. Okay. Alright. Let's buy, before I forget, another thread. And I'm out of nectars. So I need to buy three nectars. Good. Very good. Excellent. And they deserve to have a sleep, because they're route of TP, or at least Fawns is. Can't have that for next time they go into the labyrinth. Bring the other party back out. 
accept the limit skills. I do think I'll use that Hellfire instead of the Guard Tactic. That seemed like it did really good. I just need more damage in my party, and that helps. And Second Wind is still doing beautiful work. We're out of TP with this party, so they're going to have to nap. But now I can finally buy a new weapon for uh, Fungible here. That's a lot of damage. Very good. And that's all of my money. <laughs> I might not be able to stay at the inn. I'm not going to be able to stay at the inn. Okay, I have to do some fighting. Well, that didn't quite go as planned. Okay, who has enough power? Magic Face has two shots. I'm going to go kill a greedy lizard real quick. I did not think that through. Did not think that through at all. I was just like, yeah, new knife. Whoops, where'd my money go? Yeah, I can take down a greedy lizard, no problem. These things don't hit that hard. Where are they weak to again? Ice. Can't quite take it down in one turn. Let's not use ice again. But that lizard crest will be able to pay for us to use the inn. Yeah, really digging deep into the pocket here. I should have stepped into the other thing. It's fine. I should have stepped forward instead of back. Okay, now the greedy lizard. I think the limit skills are going to reset when we get to town, so you know what? Let's just blast it like this. Didn't get a crust for that one. Oh well, I got a crust from the other one. And I'll walk back to town because I could not afford another thread. Just delete these encounters, get a couple of more drops of money. Like it it's it's chump change, it's tiny little pennies. But I need it. I need it. <laughs> Can't find another one of those depth things if I don't have full TP. I didn't even see what I was able to buy from getting them, didn't I? I was so fixated on the dagger. No, the dagger was what I was able to get from them. That's right. Okay. Now I can sleep. No, I have to sell the stuff first. So eager to sleep am I. Now I can sleep. Oh, how quickly the money goes. New slot. I have a little bit more time. Let's kill another one of those things. Okay, everybody's at full everything. I'll be able to sleep again after. And yeah, money isn't hard to get, I just... I can't do it all day, every day. Oh, nasty hit on Zare. Not having real armor from having the sleep guards on in is absolutely right there. The proof is in... How hard the princess got hit. Or the monk, rather. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do any fancy stuff to be able to fight this one. Alright, I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry, but I do anyway. 
I don't have to worry about other sea wanderers wandering into us. I forgot to move Jade to the front. Oh, well, it's fine. Heavy mortars it is. Or I could just have the, the clone pull her up again. That'll be fine. Unless the clone falls asleep. Uh, let's refresh. Uh, let's line heal the back. Let's switch with Jade. Hit very hard. And start using front mortars. They aren't that expensive because I still only have rank one. Oh no! She blasted for 200 damage, but revenge kills her. Awful. Okay, line guard it is. Line heal here. Use an actor. This is why I bought them. Uh, Magic Face will not kill, uh, kill himself. This is fine. We've determined that. Uh, but everybody else will kill themselves. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that's real bad. If, even if I attack, it'll do damage. But Fungible doesn't do that much damage, I don't think. Oh, Jade's asleep. Uh, Jade's absolutely going to hit really hard. Uh, let's use Line Guard to see if I can block that. And I can heal to see if I can restore it after. What can I do to help her? I don't think there is anything I can do to help her at this point. I think she's just going to go down again. Oh no! Okay, she's alive. Good. Zare can't really attack. I could try to refresh the stats off of Fungible. That would do something. No, Fungible goes first. I can try to refresh the stats off of Jade. This will be fine. You really can't do anything yet. You'll kill yourself. This will be fine. Oh, Fungible's clone's dead. Here comes another wave of status effects. Hopefully nothing happens to them and makes them unable to use their spell. Oh no. Han found it. <laughs> Every time with this. All right, uh, let's use another Nectar on Jade. More status effects. All right, we just need a little bit more and they'll be down. Good. And we got another depth scale. All right. So no matter what, those things are just terrible to fight. No matter what, those things are just bad. But you know what? We got the thing that we needed from it. Three times. I accidentally sold off my other accessories, so I might need to get more money to be able to buy those back. Uh... Yeah, I need to go and get more accessories. I'll do another run with Bean and them off-screen. I did one run this, uh, this episode, and I... Ah... <laughs> <laughs> I sure can't beat the FOEs at a price. So you get, see you guys next time after I do a little bit more shopping and grinding. Later, explorers.